Hi there, we're gonna talk about shots from the rough here today. So, down here in Florida, we have this thick Bermuda grass. Right now, we've had some rain, this stuff's really getting thick. Now, you can get a good lie where it sits up and you can pretty much hit any club. Problem with that is you're gonna get one that jumps, goes too far. That's an easier shot. When we get the lie that's sitting down, we see a lot of people struggle with this. So, let's talk about the clubs first. So, if I take the five iron here, this is my longest iron, the bottom of that is pretty flat from side to side. There's a little bit of camber at the edges, but not much. Problem with that is, as I come through the grass here, all that grass is gonna grab at three points, here, here, and here. That's gonna get snagged up quite easily. If it really gets wrapped around here, it's gonna do that, and now that leading edge is gonna dig in. It's not great, because to play this shot effectively, we've gotta try and get up to the bottom of the golf ball to get it to go in the air. So I'm gonna to toss that one aside, not my best option here. Obviously, if it's a shorter shot and it's an iron shot, great. But here we're on this par four, we've missed the fairway. We got 200 yards to the flag, so I need a lot of club to get it there. Let's look at the hybrid. So as we get into the hybrid, obviously we've still got a fair amount of loft, 23 degrees here on my hybrid. But you can stay, see there's a bit of roundness to this, okay? What that allows me to do is the center of this gravity of this club is now lower because these sides have been shaved up. So I've got less contact here with the grass. So this guy's really gonna get through it, okay? Compare that to the fairway wood. Again, nice and cambered. This will cut through the rough, okay? But you gotta make sure you go down to get this edge under. I got 15 degrees on the three wood. That's gonna be harder to get under the golf ball than my 23. So I'm gonna play right in the middle here. I'm gonna go with my four hybrid, 23. Now, what have I gotta do? Normal shot from the fairway. We'd be coming in, we'd have a clear look at the back of the ball. We'd be coming into the golf ball, getting through it and finishing our swing here. If I do that here, that grass is just gonna cover the golf ball. I'm not gonna get enough on it and I'm not gonna get it out, okay? So, if you're familiar with the term angle of attack, that is the angle the club is traveling down or up relative to the ground. So typically my hybrid, I would probably hit down two degrees on it just to get under it and get it in the air. From the rough, I need to be a little bit more descending. So that number is gonna be a four or five down on it. What I'm gonna to do to compensate for that down is I'm probably just gonna play on the fade side of the golf club, a little bit open. That's gonna allow me to hit down like this, get the club under that ball. It's not gonna go really high, but I'm gonna get it out and move forwards. What's really effective though, this head versus an iron. Because you have the effect of trampoline on these hollow heads, you're gonna get much more pop on the ball than you would an iron from the rough. So I highly recommend using either hybrids or woods here. This one's a pretty bad lie. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this here. Let's see how I do. So swing thought. Play the face just a touch open, but more than anything, I wanna make sure I swing down. I wanna go down into the grass before the ball, and I want it still going downwards as I hit the ball. So I'm trying to get to the dirt. Let's see how we do. Man, that's a bad lie. All right, I'm gonna aim just left here. We've got a bit of a dog leg, so I'm gonna aim at the left edge of the green. There you go, that came out pretty good. It's trundling on up, and that's right on the front of the green. I got a good chance of saving par from there. Pretty bad lie. I played it conservatively. So you can see here, look, if you look across here, this is quite a straight edge to it. That's gonna catch a lot of grass across the bottom of that club face as it comes in. You can see here the hybrid has a little bit more camber to it through here. So less of that grass is gonna catch. You're just gonna catch it right here. But that's, that center of gravity is much lower. So as I go under the ball, it's gonna help me get that up in the air out of this thick rough. Here's the fairway wood. You can see there's a little bit of camber here, a little bit wider sole. So we're gonna have more chance of catching more grass across the width of this. That's what makes the fairway woods difficult from really bad lies. Also, this three wood only has 15 degrees. Maybe a five or a seven wood would be good, but unfortunately I don't carry that club, but if you carry a seven wood, that could be a good option instead of a hybrid. Hope you like this. Just try and, you gotta go down to get this. So you gotta use a club with loft. 
you got to use a club with some roundness to it to get that thing up in the air because this will go down and pop it out you know and don't expect to hit your best shots from this just get yourself back in play like here i'm in front of the green i can chip putt, make my par so hope you like what i've shared with you here today i think it's going to help you next time you miss the fairway obviously i hope you don't miss any fairways but if you do try this next time you're in the rough get down on it use your hybrids get that thing going in the air so please hit the subscribe button down below, you know what to do, and then hit that bell icon, you'll get alerts next time I upload some videos.